Hello, I'd like to talk about magical tools and this time I'm going to talk about the wand. So um, what is a wand actually for? Because um, it's funny, we see films with wizards and witches waving wands around um, and I don't think people really think about exactly what is happening when a wand is being waved around. Um, if the film is worth its salt, uh, the, you will generally see the energy coming out the end of the wand. So if I point it, you can imagine a stream of energy coming out of the end of the wand, right? Um, so um, one time when Harry Potter was first popular uh, and before JK Rowling became she who must not be named, um, I bought, for a laugh, bought um, a plastic wand that was part of the Harry Potter toys franchise. Um, and you flicked this wand and some lights came on in the end. Now, this really bugged me because the lights lit up. It Like, the one on the end lit up first, then the one second from the end, and then the one third from the end. And I'm like... That's completely illogical. They should light up the other way because you're trying, you're sending energy out of the end of the wand. Um, and also, you would never make a wand out of plastic. So, this is, that leads to some interesting questions. The first one is, how do you direct energy through a wand? So, you, you're imagine, you, so you imagine the energy flowing out of the end of your hand and flowing through the grain of the wood and out the end to where you want to direct it. Now, that also begs the question of why you'd want to use a wand rather than just pointing your finger. Um, and I always say that this is because humans are tool using animals and you know we like tools that focus our energy. Now, so the energy that you're sending along the wand, where does that come from? So you're pulling it up through your body hopefully from the earth and not using and depleting the energy in your body, right? So so you're directing that energy. Um, so why, when should you use a wand instead of an athamia or a knife? So you would use a wand in situations where the steel of the athamia or the iron in the athamia would be offensive to... Um, the fair folk, because it's fairly well known that fairies, the fair folk, the good people, don't like iron. This is attested in folklore from certainly all over Europe, possibly worldwide. So, um, so obviously the wand is a good tool for that because there's no iron in it. Um, another interesting thing. Uh, which is from ceremonial magic, is that the, the wand and this piece of wood is a nice piece of driftwood I picked up from the shoreline um, of Lake Huron and I haven't consecrated it as a wand yet, but it's very wandy, as you can see. <laughs> so the, the ceremonial magic idea about the wand is that it should be the same length from your elbow um, there's my elbow to your fingertips so it actually is slightly too long because it sticks out a fair way beyond my fingertips um, but better too long than too short um, I think the reason why this is important is because magic is a very human practice and um, we want things that are actually reflected that reflect the the body in some way uh, so for example the reason that inches and feet and miles are still a popular measurement system in some parts of the world is because an inch is from is basically this segment of the thumb that's an inch um, hence the expression rule of thumb if I stretch up my hands like that um, the distance between this fingertip and this fingertip is approximately one foot um, and obviously a foot is the same size as your foot. So I'm just gonna, I don't think I can get my foot up to the video camera, but yep, that is about the length of, doing that is about the length of my foot. Um, and 
um, you know, like if you hold your arms wide like that, the distance between your fingertips is about one yard, uh, which is roughly the same as a meter. Um, whereas the way that the metric system was devised is that they took the circumference of the earth and divided it to get an even number. Um, so, so metric is good because it's based on the earth, um, but, in, but the imperial measurement system is based on the human body. So I think that we have an instinct to measure things with our bodies. And so that's part of why the wand um, is generally the same length from your, uh, just see there's my elbow bone there. And actually that's about right because it's, it is actually sticking like it's on the end of my finger. So nothing needed to do to this wand. It's, it's actually a perfectly good wand. Um, so the other interesting thing about the wand uh, is that as well as pushing energy out of the end of it, you can also pull energy through it. Um, and actually I learned this one from Harry Potter as well. <laughs> oh dear. Um, remember that scene where Dumbledore puts the wand up to his head and sucks out the unwelcome thoughts and then decants them into the pensive? Um, and yes, you know, you can... Um, you can suck energy out of things and decant it into someone else, somewhere else, rather like a pipette um, or a turkey baster. Um, so, yeah, the wand is actually quite a versatile tool for directing energy and magic. Um, it's also useful if you're doing healing or something like that. You could p point it at the very specific bit of the body that you were trying to heal. Um, and I believe that the most effective material for making a wand out of is wood. Um, you can direct energy, you can get crystal wands and you can direct energies through a crystal wand. Um, I think it's harder to push energy through a, through a crystal wand. Um, don't know, try it, see how you get on. Um, and, um... You know, next time you're beside the seaside or the lakeshore, have a look out for nice bits of driftwood that you could use as a wand. Um, so also, this is very nice and light, which is good. Um, so yeah, that's my thoughts about the wand. And the painting you can see behind me, um, still got Lydia Knox's painting over there. So the Lydia Knox gallery over there. Um, this painting behind me is by a lady called Deborah on um, Instagram. And uh, she goes by Deborah Art and Soul on Instagram if you want to check out her work. And the uh, talking of checking things out, you might like to check out the um, video I made with my partner Bob, um, which is available on the um, Dorian Valiente Foundation YouTube channel. Uh, called and it's a brief history of magical tools so have a nice day bless be take care